This is one of the costumes from today's video. I'm not just going around wearing corsets and fake roses on my tank tops, okay? I had minimal time to film this today. I am literally sweating from filming this video because the sunlight is fleeting and October is already almost over. Time is just going by faster and faster every single year and I don't know how to handle it. But if you're anything like me and you save things until the very last minute, then this video is for you. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys five last minute Halloween costumes that you guys can get off of Amazon. Amazon Prime coming in clutch once again. I'm gonna have all these costumes linked and organized down in my Amazon storefront down below. I'm gonna link it in my description box, so make sure to check that out. You could have some of these pieces already in your closet to put together these costumes. That's the beauty of homemade costumes. You can just put it together from anything, but if not, you know where to find it. My storefront will have it all. I got you covered. Before October ends, let's get into these costumes. First up, we have Lila Black from the Jonah Hex movie. Lila Black was played by Megan Fox, so that alone made me want to recreate this outfit because I love her, even though I didn't watch the movie. I felt so cute in this costume, and I feel like it's not overdone. I mean, I personally have not seen a costume like this that often when I go out, but then again, I don't really go out. And this could double or be transformed into a pirate costume as well because the look is kind of fitting, like add a pirate hat or like a parrot or a sword or something, I don't know. And I feel like it could be great. All of these items I got from Amazon with Amazon Prime, so it literally came the next day and for this costume I also ordered some sleeves for my forearms But I preferred how it looked without it just because the arm sleeves were so obviously made from a different material And made for like a different vibe and if that doesn't bother you and you want to be more on point with the costume Then I'll have them linked in my Amazon storefront as well But for me, I just didn't really like it together This costume is made up of like five pieces the thigh high tights the high low skirt tank top corset and a fake rose The things I added for my closet were the boots I love my platforms from Steve Madden and the shorts that went under the high low skirt because I did drawstring the skirt to the shortest length possible to fully match the Lila black vibe and if it wasn't for these shorts the costume would just be a no-go for me the fake rose did come as like a bulk there were multiple fake roses and they didn't come with a pin to fasten onto the front of this tank top so I did baby pin it and then I did an extra fasten with an earring to keep it in place because it just kept on flopping all over the place I've seen this costume done before with a white tank top and honestly you could style this with a white tank top but I went for a cream tank top just because it gives more of an old-timey vibe and also because my color analysis says white is a too harsh color for me and I just am obsessed with my color analysis. <laughs> Second outfit is also from one of Megan Fox's roles and it's Jennifer from Jennifer's Body. For this costume, I bought the leopard print top, the hoops, and that's about it. Everything else I had in my closet, the white puffer, the belt, the skirt, the heart necklace, and the tights. The tights aren't necessary because she didn't have them on in the movie, but I added them in because with these fleece line tights and the puffer jacket, it makes for the perfect costume if you're outdoors or in a chillier state for Halloween. You will be the warmest person at the party, I will tell you that. You could also add fake blood to this costume or do ripped tights. I feel like it really put the whole outfit together, but I'm planning to wear these tights sometime in the future. And I also had more costumes to film, so I didn't commit to the whole fake blood thing third costume it had to be done okay I know it's overdone I know trust me I know I know you've seen me do a Lara Croft costume a few times before but it's a classic okay and probably one of the easiest costumes to do now I don't know why but on the camera these fingerless gloves don't match the top but in real life they do so I'm not sure if it's the camera that's out of whack or if my eyes are the ones that are broken I mean I already wear glasses so it might be my eyes but I swear they're the same color <laughs> bought the tank top from Amazon and the only note I have on it is that it's very long and very stretchy, which could be great for you, but I have a short torso and it looked a little bit ridiculous. So I tied it in the back with a hair tie, just like I used to in middle school and called it a day. I styled it with these shorts, holster, fingerless gloves and combat boots and bam, you have yourself Laura Croft. I would put my hair in a braid or in two braids, add some makeup to make it look like I'm a bit roughed up either on the face or legs or arms. And there it is, the perfect costume. And honestly, if you wanna add a fun spin on it, put some pointed cardboard or craft paper in the top of the shirt and then your pointy boob Laura Croft from the very beginning of her creation. Fourth costume is the one and only, also completely overdone, by me at least, Black Widow. I feel like this is one of those costumes that could also double up as another. You can add cat ears or a cat mask, some long black nails, and you can be Catwoman. So this is great, you know? If Black Widow's not your thing, then Catwoman could be your thing. This is one of my go-to costumes for any dress-up occasion because one, it is beyond comfortable. Two, 
it's good quality, and three, I feel very confident wearing it. I recently had to replace this costume with the same one because the other one I had for about four years and it started becoming see-through. And for a Halloween costume, I feel like it held up for a decent amount of time. This costume does come with its own holster, but I used one that I bought separately because it's a bit thicker and better quality, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy a better holster. That's just not necessary, I don't think. I wear a size small in this and it is a bit baggy on the legs, but I think that's just because my legs have always been a tad bit smaller than the rest of my body, unfortunately. Just a little bit thinner and not really that matchy, but you know, it's my own insecurities. We're not gonna bring it into this video, but it's not too big of a deal and nothing that tucking the excess into my shoes can't fix. Now, if this is all too much or not niche enough for your liking, then maybe and hopefully this final outfit gives you a fun idea. Kevin James, baby. I don't know if you're on the same side of the internet as I am right now, but he's all over my feed with either those promo photos of him when he was in the King of Queens or when he's starting off the races for NASCAR. This outfit is funny, okay? It's comfy and it's a fun talking point if the people know what you're talking about. <laughs> I put my hair up in a clip, but you can fully commit to the bit and get a wig, but I think it's also funny to do like an all out Yossified version of him as well. I mean, not everyone's gonna get this one unless you and your friend group have the same algorithm. So this could be a hit or miss for this costume. All I needed was a purple t-shirt and a green flannel, and honestly, you might already have these pieces in your closet. That's all I have for the last minute costumes. I hope you enjoyed and maybe got an idea from this video. I feel like these are all solid options for last minute Halloween costumes, but they also look like you put in an effort as well. I had such a fun time putting together these costumes for you guys, but honestly, I can't pick a favorite, so let me know what you guys think. And if you guys decide to do any of these costumes, definitely let me know as well, because I'd love to see that. Typical Elizabeth Zacks fashion, you guys know I have to give you a mom spiel. I hope everyone has a lovely and safe time this Halloween. If you're going out, please don't drink and drive. An Uber or a Lyft or a taxi, no matter the cost, is more important to take than your life or the lives of others. If you're going out with friends, please don't leave them alone. Stranger danger, remember that. More often than not, the buddy system works, okay? If you have any indoor, outdoor cats, please make sure to keep them indoors, especially if they're all black cats. People are so weird out here, man. That's it, that's my public service announcement. I hope you enjoyed. I'm done yapping, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kona is having the zoomies right behind me right now. Remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy Halloween. Bye.